Bioshock is a game that has for a long time both intrigued and entranced viewers with a world that is both unique and somewhat philosophically viable, and on top of that just has all sorts of interesting creatures and weird things for your horror delight. However, for a long time people have talked about what you might be able to do for an adaptation, and my real theory is that now Hollywood has already tapped the majority of film IPs that they can tap for as many films as they can, or they're already on up to 5 to 10 of said films in the franchises, and they're starting to get limited returns. So now what we've seen is there is more constant look towards older TV shows to bring towards other adaptations or games. We see a lot more games uh, coming out now, or even ones that are good though. For example, we had The Last of Us show, which was very highly rated. Fallout has been very well received as well, and so it's not exactly too surprising to see that Bioshock is on the list for an upcoming adaptation. However, this adaptation was actually announced quite a while ago, at least a couple years from what I can tell. Also, it was a, a little weird, like there was one uh, website that listed it as a TV show, but from every other website it's listed as a movie, so it's definitely a Netflix movie adaptation of Bioshock. And then I guess the next question that you might have is which game is it following? Is it going to go in like chronological order or is it going to go in the order of the game's releases? And it is going to go in the order of the game's releases. So it's going back to the first Bioshock in, I believe, 2006 or 7, something like that. Uh, and so they will be taking that and running with that for the screenplay. Now, the main thing with that, however, is that uh, basically I've never played the game. I'm not going to pretend I have. But from everything I'm seeing, uh, you know, from other people who are big fans of the game, they're stating that, you know, for number one to be adapted well, they're really going to have to make some changes so that it could work within the screenplay, which based off of like the limited understanding I have about the game. It has a super solid story, but I'm sure there are certain elements, of course, as with any game, that would need to be changed a bit for the television. Uh, but generally, the other thing we know too is, well, first of all, we do know the director and screenplay writer, and we will get there in a moment. However, due to the writer's strike, everything for this show was pushed off drastically. It already wasn't going to be out until at least 2025, if not 2026, and now they're looking at more like a 2027 or even 2028 release date so it will be quite a while away the other thing is is uh they do plan on making more than one of course since there are more than one games in the series and overall, there are three, so it could make for a pretty easy trilogy, but hopefully they're able to do enough storytelling in the first to satisfy audiences rather than relying on there being three films to really get the story fleshed out. We see that with like Snyder's, uh, Zack Snyder's recent release of Rebel Moon 2. He apparently went in and tried to do a lot more character building because he didn't do pretty much any character building in the first movie. And well, at that point, nobody really cared about the characters anymore more and it would have been better just to stick with it being more action based and whatnot but instead they did try to go back because he has this feeling of it being some big space opera epic when in reality it's it's just trash but so i i think that is kind of a bad trend that we've seen with the various streaming uh movies and franchises because what we do know is that netflix is very willing to hand out a bit extra money if they do even decently well so people do uh, see to plan for their films to go into trilogies all the time and you know again it really just depends on how well you do the first one so hope uh is 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 kind of tempered there but definitely it's possible uh and so let's finally just get into who is directing and writing this damn thing huh so, we know that Francis Lawrence is the director of it, and Michael Green is the writer of the screenplay. Now, when you look at Francis Lawrence, his career is, uh, you know, pretty pretty decent. He has Constantine, which is not, I think, very, very much liked. However, he then swiftly moves into I Am Legend and Water for Elephants, which I Am Legend absolute banger i've never uh, i've only seen pieces of water for elephants but it's fantastic everything i have seen of it although uh you know obviously i think it's more patent since like acting in that one just killed it uh but generally then he moved into the hunger games so he did the hunger games catching fire mocking jay part one and two and he also did the hunger games uh the ballad of songbirds and snakes and he also did red sparrow so i mean listen i i've never seen slumberland but the that's one other the only other film that's on 
this entire list of his. Um, however, the only thing that I think I know is pretty either iffy or just disliked is Constantine. Otherwise, everything else seems to be pretty solid from him. So I would say as a directorial choice, this is pretty decent. Uh, but then let's go ahead and look over at Michael Green for the screenwriter. Uh, so his, uh, well, first of all, television is what first comes up for him here. However, when we move over to the feature films is where things start to get really concerning. I will say that like uh, the television shows, he has like an episode of Sex in the City that he wrote, uh, like Snoops, Smallville, Jack and Bobby, whatever that is, a bunch of bunch of stuff. However, uh, and I, I'm, I'm really not too much into television, so I'm not going to yeah, I'm not going to say too much about those. Uh, but let's move in, like I said, to the feature films. So his first feature film uh, with I think writing here is Green Lantern in Emerald Knights, which obviously not very good. Uh, that's like a direct to video movie. It looks like uh, yeah, it is a direct to video movie. So let me actually go ahead. I was thinking that this was the Ryan Reynolds one. Um, the reception and mostly mixed okay so that's okay so it's at least mid however he then did go over and do the actual green lantern movie he wrote that uh and if you're writing that that's a really bad sign because the one with ryan reynolds was just absolute trash however he then kind of really brought things back with logan which was very very highly loved and very much people are hyped about anything to do with that movie then you have Blade Runner 2049, the same year, and also Murder on the Orient, which I actually really like Murder on the Orient Express. I kind of remember Blade Runner 2049. I barely remember it though um and then also he has a couple of other things like jungle cruise which i never saw death on the nile haunting in venice absolute banger apparently he's been brought in for blade which obviously we don't know how that's going to turn out yet but so really he has like one or two movies in there that are kind of questionable but overall pretty solid record as well so when it comes to the director and the writer for the upcoming bioshock movie they've definitely gotten a good pair of people in there that seem to actually care about what the actual story is from the games for example uh the director said me and cameron who work with me and michael are getting to do what we want to do which is great a lot of it is staying really true to the game itself though and we're talking to take two and ken levine to make sure we stay accurate to the games which is absolutely great to hear you know sometimes you hear people that are working on these that really shit talk the games or say that they weren't fans of it or say that they're trying to do something totally different which again if you're trying to do something totally different don't take the ip and abuse it i mean i think that's what they're doing anyway like we really are in an era where anything will be abused for a couple dollars because for the most part we see like you know like i said most of the the movie franchises that could be remade or redone have been done to hell so hollywood is looking elsewhere and then for like people that are not high up in hollywood we have all sorts of like loved things that are going into the public domain that now are being exploited by regular lower tier indie uh you know filmmakers such as the people that did like winnie the pooh films and their whole fucking pooniverse shit I, I despise it it's just the worst thing ever but it is definitely nice to hear that such a beloved franchise like bioshock is getting a a pretty solid uh and interesting uh you know movie made about it so what do you guys think we uh, about this do you think that it sounds good do you think that it sounds bad do you think that they should should have maybe started with Bioshock Infinite, or do you think that starting with the first game works better? Uh, you know, who do you think that they should get for the cast? You know, they haven't really said anything about casting yet, because like I said, they were pushed off with even writing because of the whole, you know, uh, writer strike and everything. Uh, but I'm definitely really interested to see how this turns out overall, and I'm definitely excited to see what you guys have to say in the comments. Besides that, guys, you can follow us here for more gaming-related news, movie-related news, and anything else, as well as we have gaming sessions, which is my brother who also does even more game and stuff and more in-depth stuff than I usually do. Typically, I cover like when games and movies intersect and he covers pretty much just gaming content. Uh, but I am going to try to do a little bit more of like gaming culture stuff on here every now and again. But of course, we will still remain predominantly movies uh, and also even some music related stuff. All that stuff hopefully will be coming out here soon. And besides that, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.